Neurons have axons. Axons are long tubes that carry electrical signals called action potentials. The major ions in action potential are sodium, potassium, chloride, and calcium, and they are going to have their own channels. Sodium channels, potassium channels, chloride channels, calcium channels. The sodium potassium pumps, also known as sodium potassium ATPase, they pump sodium out of the cell, they pump potassium into the cell, and they use ATP as energy to run the pump. So here's my cartoon of the sodium potassium pump, sodium potassium ATPase, and notice the pump is actively pumping sodium out of the cell and pumping potassium into the cell, and the sodium potassium pump is driven, powered by the power of ATP. Here is my sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump runs continuously, unless some toxin interferes with it. Sodium potassium pump is always running continuously. And what it does is create a sodium force. By operating the sodium potassium pump, your cell can make the outside of the cell positively charged and the inside of the cell negatively charged. So because there's more sodium on the outside, it's trying to rush in. And because it's positively charged on the outside, sodium is trying to rush in. The sodium potassium pump turns the cell membrane into a capacitor. And so now we've taken that ATP and created electrical energy all across the membrane. We'll use that electrical energy to do work. It's that sodium force that can be used to transport nutrients across the membrane, like glucose transport. We can use that sodium force to drive amino acids across the membrane. Uh, we use that electrical energy of the sodium force to power action potential. Because the sodium force or sodium gradient powers action potential, sodium channel blockers will be used as local anesthetics, like lidocaine. They block nerves from functioning because opening sodium channels is essential for a nerve to work. Blocking sodium channels prevents the function of neurons. So again, sodium channels power action potential. Sodium channel blockers block action potential. All right, the action potential is a wave of voltage change that occurs by the opening and closing of ion channels. What we're basically going to see is sodium rushing in, and then once the sodium rushes in and creates a positive charge inside of the cell, that causes potassium channels to open and pushes potassium out of the cell. And with action potential, sodium potassium pumps work continuously to create that sodium force. Well, here's a neurotransmitter and it's going to bind with its receptor, opening a sodium channel. So here the neurotransmitter has opened a sodium channel. Sodium comes into the cell, causing a voltage change across the membrane. Moving sodium across the membrane causes a voltage change across the membrane. And this voltage change is sensed by voltage-gated sodium channels. And so here's my little voltage-gated sodium channel, and it's noticing some kind of electrical change across the membrane, and that causes it to open, and now we have sodium comes rushing in, and so you'll read about slow sodium channels and fast sodium channels, but I did want you to see that the voltage-gated sodium channel senses the voltage change causes sodium to come rushing in. Well, once all this sodium comes rushing into the cell, it becomes positive inside of the cell. So now it's positive inside of the cell. The membrane is depolarized, and so sodium won't come rushing through those sodium channels anymore. Now that it's positive on the inside of the cell, a voltage potassium channel senses that depolarized membrane. And now that it's positive inside of the cell, Potassium comes rushing out because the increased concentration of potassium inside and the positive charge inside of the membrane, at least at that point, pushes the potassium out. And so that's what resets the membrane. It's what resets excitable membranes is potassium channels opening, letting the potassium out. And that repolarizes the membrane. So opening voltage-gated potassium channels repolarize the membrane. Here is my axon of a neuron, and it's carrying the electrical signal one way. So action potential is a wave of voltage caused by opening sodium channels, which depolarize the membrane, followed by opening potassium channels, which reset the membrane.